A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video we'll learn how to loop through each record in an interactive grid to perform some kind of validation. Here we will prevent addition of duplicate products in a single order. Let's see this practically. Execute these following steps to prevent product duplication in an order. Static ID attribute used in next step, will be used as the ID for the interactive grid region, which is useful in developing custom JavaScript behavior for the region, as you will see later in this video. This is a hidden item that will store 0, as default or 1, behind the scene. The value 1 in this item means that there are some duplicate products in the order. This evaluation will be done by a validation check duplicate product. Switch to the Dynamic Actions tab. This dynamic action will execute a JavaScript code, that will be fired before submitting the page. The JavaScript code is defined as a custom function check duplicate. This second dynamic action, is created to fetch product name when a user selects a different product in the interactive grid order details. Link of source code is provided in video description, part 7 folder file is used in this video. Switch back to the Rendering tab. Click this root node. Scroll down to the Function and Global Variable Declaration section, and append the following JavaScript function. This JavaScript function alerts you of duplicate products. After the alert, the page is submitted and the order is saved with duplication, this function is called from the check duplicate product dynamic action before the page is submitted. Switch to the Processing tab. This process will evaluate the value of P429 product duplicate hidden page item, when either save or create buttons are clicked. If the value of this item is 0, the order is processed. But if the value is set to 1, by the check duplicate function, an error message is fired. One thing is important to note here that error message does not display, if one or more validations fail evaluation or equality test. Click the save button to save your work. All is set. Let's see this at runtime. Create a new order. Select any customer name from the list. From order timestamp select any date. Click this edit button, initially the product column in this grid defaults to Air Jordan 6. 
select a different product to fire the dynamic action, and fetch the product name in the product name column. Add another row, and select the same product on the new row. Input unit price in both rows. And click create button. First you will get the client side product duplication message from the JavaScript function. Secondly followed by the error message defined in the validation, which is returned from the server. Thanks for watching.